There are many issues which are quite serious in that the pattern of disease appearance and its spread across the world is going to change dramatically. It's already happening in that the types of diseases and the mode of spread is going to change with the change in vectors like mosquitoes. Already uh, this is happening with diseases like dengue and malaria, although malaria is going down a little, but uh, there are massive uh, problems there. Also, the types of diseases will change with the change in the climate. And not least, cardiovascular disease, which I am specialized in, um, is going to be a massive problem. Already, it is killing approximately 20 million people every year. And at least two-thirds of these people who die from cardiovascular disease are in the developing countries. So we cannot ignore that, and that will increase as time goes by, and some of it is related to neglected diseases uh, which are increasing in uh, developing countries. So there is uh, a lot of research already being done in these areas, but we really need to be mindful of all that and increase our efforts uh, to counter this trend because um, the diseases and the change in their pattern will not only affect the poor countries, but the developed countries as well will uh, suffer. So there is no doubt that this is an area which we should increase our efforts to counter. Yeah, uh, this issue was discussed uh, at a meeting of the Royal Society um, devoted to um, the sustainable planet. That was the title of the meeting. And I think this ties in very well because health issues are paramount uh, for the sustainable planet. I think everybody has a role to play, um, both individuals, uh, organizations, uh, learned societies like the Royal Society, um, as well as the government. We should join uh, forces and uh, try and maximize the effect so we cannot leave it to any one group, certainly not just the government.